Now, in Unit 1, I introduce you to the context and the relevance of the chapter. This unit is divided into three sections. Let's get started with Section 1, Context of Chapter 2. In this chapter, we address academic principles, or more specifically, research rules. Section 2. Relevance of Chapter 2 In the previous chapter, a basic understanding of academic research and theory and practice has been developed. The next step would be to come up with a more structured and systematic approach to qualify academic research and thereby scientific work. Therefore, the context of this chapter is to deepen our understanding of the characteristics of academic research and writing. Why is it relevant to acquaint oneself with academic principles? First of all, academic principles provide general guidance for individual research and writing processes. Furthermore, academic principles clarify norms and rules employed in the process of grading academic research projects. The five fundamental academic or scientific principles to be addressed in this chapter are Accuracy, Completeness, Clarity, Comparability, Materiality. These five principles constituting an abstraction on a very high level, need to be broken down into subcategories. It should be mentioned that this classification is also used for reporting and forecasting purposes and is thereby generally accepted and legally tested, for example in the field of accounting. Furthermore, these five principles are not restricted to a specific academic discipline. Section 3 Learning Objectives of Chapter 2 There is only one learning objective for this chapter. After this chapter, you should have an understanding of the five fundamental academic principles and their subcategories.